everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This episode, I'm going to show you some uh, items I made over the years. This one here, I made that a long time ago. I made that on my uh, Harrison L5 lathe. And I did all the milling on it as well. So there's all the, some sections on here which have been uh, milled. This one, that was made for repetition on a small woodworking lathe. To make discs out of hardboard or 3mm MDF. One of these cutters is to bring the item to size. And the other one, I think it's this way around, I haven't used it for years. Is to put a recess in it. So I can't show you that working because I haven't got a lathe set up. But uh, I can, I'll do a diagram. And what this is, this is from Aid's workshop. This is one of the key rings he has for sale to help his uh, charities. Now look, it's made out of a, a spark plug. So I'm going to test it now. I'm going to see if it's a proper job. Look at that there. Eh? Straight off. Cheers, Aid. Proper job, Aid. Have a look at Aid's workshop, and he's probably got some of these for sale. What this is, this is a horizontal borer. That's the head. This sits horizontal, by the way. It's, if I just get on bench for now, I'll turn it up when I explain it better. That's your chuck. And there's a lever, this one here, right? There's a lever on here, which I've I've taken off at the moment which comes up here so you do that and this goes backwards and forwards on those slides right and all this work milling work was done on the lathe that's the table off it Rise and fall, I got that out of a skip. And the frame, I've got the frame outside, but I'll show you some pictures of the frame before I moved it to this location. And we use this for many years for boring the uh, assembly fittings for wardrobe cabinets. That's where the handle goes in there. It falls down out at way. So it lifts up so you can use it and it falls down. This one, this moves back and forth, that's the dovetail slide. I've got the one there. There, look, that's it. And you can move this at different holes to move the location. And that's the stop. And then that fits on the on the laid bed. A lot of this stuff's pretty crude because it just had to, had to be made as quick as possible. And just get to work so like there's no fancy corners on it or finishing off of some instances when I started this project first of all I bought one of these right 
this is a, a Picador speed shaft and that's what that is there look and these were a British company I don't know if they're still uh, trading but they used to do bearings bushes small tools and this is one of their speed shafts and I purchased one of these obviously because I needed this quick and when I was first starting out metal working and blade work you know it had taken me ages to make that I probably still would <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's just quicker to buy something and use it if you need it because you get your money back on it straight away because it's you know it's earning money for you so that's uh, that's what that is also any older viewers from the UK right into steam trains whatever you might recognize this right Graham engineering from West Midlands 1994 and we did some work for a, a customer in Wakefield, Wakefield, England. And he had a Myford lathe and he just got a bridge port, which they just put in when we were doing this job for them. And he said, he said have you heard of these? I said, I said no. Anyway, he gave me, I think it was probably three years or so before this one but this is a later one but this is this is like your what the Chinese do now but this is uh, back then and it's got a price listing <laughs> so if you want to know any prices of Tomex or Bison Chucks yeah Tomex look Tomex 1994 prices got lays in as well because they did alpine lays because I, I was actually thinking of I had an L5 you see I was actually thinking of buying a, an alpine I think it was a 1440 or something but there's a, a price list there look nineteen ninety four price list more than right micrometers which you tell your micrometers Mansors, lathes. Has anybody got any questions? One, if they want to know what things cost.